Say cheese. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Tom. And my name's Caleb. And we are out in the store today. Not airing things up with a pneumatic hose. That's weird. Um, and we have eight sales from full, oh, yesterday, from Friday night. Uh, the first thing that sold was kind of nothing. It was the kind of thing that I was dealing with. And it's the kind of thing that you buy a lot. And this is in the lot. Uh, so it sold for five ten. It is a flash battery still in the box, but it's just a, uh, I put it untested. It's a dead battery is what it is. Go ahead and see if we can flip the top open and pull it out of the box. Make sure we don't rip the box. Good job. And so all this is, is a camera, a battery for a camera from a long, long time ago when a flash would have this gigantic 45, 45 volt <laughs> alkaline battery. Holy cow. So that's, nobody's using that. They're not paying $10 uh, all in for that to be their a cam a battery for their camera. That's going to go in a camera display, no doubt. Um, so that's a pretty cool piece. And then we have a coffee mug who's do you know who's on that coffee mug no no at all. none of them at all the animaniacs and you've watched some animaniacs and your brothers are much more familiar but uh i got that from shannon fama on whatnot and she uh i think she sold it to me for like eight dollars and then i kept it for a while but i drink a lot more coffee than that and i don't really have a good place to display a coffee mug so i decided to list it 17 dollars plus shipping buyers all in at 30. so old animaniac stuff does really well if you ever seen the big plush they do crazy well anything to add on that one it's cool <laughs> it's cool even if you don't know who they are what else is next patio green patio green and a rainbow bright i picked these up the other day uh from my buddy alex's vintage finds and he sold them to me i think i paid like i paid five dollars a piece for them and then i got a strawberry shortcake in the same kind of vein uh for five dollars also so i was fifteen dollars and sh strawberry's not even listed yet these are sold for $25 free shipping. So I paid 10 bucks for them. Not making a tremendous amount of money, but that's a pretty cool find anyway. Um, how about, I paid a dollar for this and it was in, it's in just tremendous shape. Like obviously it is a little sideways, but it's, it's nobody wore this more than once or twice. It's uh, in just about perfect condition. You can take it back, Vanna. Um, or Holly, like Barker Beauties, more than Vanna White. Anyway, that I picked that up for a dollar. It sold for ten dollars plus shipping. Buyers all in at seventeen. That camera right there just appeared, whoa, out of the death pile. Um, and I listed it for forty bucks. It was sitting on my photo station. Like this is the next things I need to list. And I didn't look at my photo station for like six months. And so. Then I was like, whoa, hey, there's a Canon camera and a Minolta camera and a bunch of Babysitter's Clubs books just sitting over here ready to be pictured. Um, so I did something with them. This I listed for 40 and I listed it as is because I tried to test it, but it didn't super work super well. So I took a best offer at 32 free shipping because I don't know where it came from and it sat around long enough that it wasn't worth trying to get top dollar out of for me anymore. And it... So tell them to say cheese and then take a picture of them. Cheese. No, you say, tell them to say cheese. Say, say, say cheese. Say cheese. Oh, <laughs> you're pushing this button. Uh. Say cheese. Look at look right here and say, say cheese. Say cheese. That's funny. Um, what else? This book that you just sat the camera and the hat down on top of 
So this is a book I bought for 40 cents. In good shape, this would be worth $30. And that's the only thing that made it worth listing for $10 plus shipping in this condition. And I listed it for $10 and it's not, um, and I took a best offer of nine. Like you can see, it's a little water damaged and gross on the back. And it's real, like got a lot of ugly creases on the front. Ocarina of Time, I think. Yeah, this is from Ocarina of Time, which is one of the one of the highest rated video. I don't want to say this is the best video game of all time, but like collectibles from Ocarina of Time, the people who love Ocarina of Time are crazy about it. Um, and it should have had a poster in the back and a poster in the front, and it has neither. So this is about as worthless as it can get, and it's still sold for nine dollars plus shipping. We paid forty cents at the retro truckload garage sale and the last but not least thing that we sold ten dollars plus shipping plano i've had this for a little over a year plant to me plano is toolboxes because i worked at menards for years and they sold toolboxes but i think to most people plano is tackle boxes which aren't particularly different but they are definitely four different things so maybe this sold to a fisherman for me it seems like a toolbox thing but uh i think most people think of plano as fishing equipment and this is in nice shape just pretty plain i think i paid two bucks for it a year ago i don't know that i would pick it up again but i did leave it in the store listed for ten dollars and twenty cents probably probably something else and then that was a offer that i sent out sold for uh plus shipping buyers all in at 1650 and that's all the sales today caleb yep <laughs> he i asked who wanted to go to work with me today and he's the only one so i gotta find a first grader job and i thought showing the things that dad sold would be a good start uh that's gonna do it for right now we'll see what else we can get done on a saturday morning before we got to go to grandpa's house yeah what are we gonna do at grandpa's house <laughs> Grandpa has a hot tub. You can get in a hot tub? Yes. Is Ruby going to get in the hot tub? No. Probably not. Yeah, definitely not. Uh, so get right up in the camera and say, like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> we'll see you on the next one. Hi. Um, tagging this on to Caleb's video. We we're supposed to do some what solds today, but I have a nauseating migraine that doesn't mean i can take a day off so i'm out here picking through the death pile and i'm like what's well, easy so i can get like 15 or 20 listings done and say i did something today and keep things alive um so i'm just picking low-hanging fruit out of the death pile christmas shades and like some converse shoes video game boxes stuff i was probably going to do something else with but if they can bail me out of taking a day off that's probably the best, best use for right now so um yeah uh i'm gonna take this box inside and take pictures and then go back to bed and list the stuff while i'm in the bed that's what's good about having doing it on your phone future Tom here recording the next video and realized that me and Caleb didn't do any kind of outro because I had a bad day yesterday. So don't forget to like the video, thumbs up, comment, or probably comment, subscribe, click the subscribe button if you want to see more of this kind of content. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on Facebook, I guess, follow me on here, follow me on TikTok, but I, all I ever do on there is post stuff that I post to YouTube shorts and post to Instagram reels. And uh, thanks for liking, commenting, subscribing, following, clicking the bell, notification bell if you want to see when I post new stuff. Uh, all the things that you do, we'll see you on the next one.